Hey, I'm glad you tuned in. Now, if you're viewing this on the web, depending upon whether it's 2007 or 2008, you may have no clue as to what this is all about. Well, I'm Chuck Fast, and it's late in the year 2007, and this is about the build-up of the Flying Dutchman. So what's that, you might ask? It is a 69 Camaro, an old drag strip warrior that I rescued from a life of mediocrity and have transformed it into a drift machine. So, follow along if you'd like as uh, I document the transformation of this car into the Flying Dutchman. Why is it that name? You'll find out. So it started it out. out late in the year 2006. I decided I would start looking for something to build into a drift car because I wanted to go drift racing. Besides my advanced age, and I wanted to do it with something old. And that's when I found out about Hot Rods to Hell. Next thing you know, I was down in California picking up a 69 Camaro. And then began the Odyssey to get it back up here to Portland, Oregon and make it all happen. So this is what I found and this is what I went through. Okay, we're looking at this 69 Camaro in Orange, California. Yeah. And what size is the engine? That's a Stroker, it's a 383. 383 Stroker. And then the trans is a... Uh, it's a 400 trans. It's all race bill. The uh, manuals. And this right here served as my rolling motel. Finally picked this up last night and rolled in here and this is where I stayed. 86 Jimmy Van. This is going to serve as the tow vehicle for that 69 Camaro. Once I get the tow bar built and fabricated and modified and pick the car up in the next day or so. Alrighty, we're going to get this dusty old girl washed up because she needs it. Well, well, she's a lot whiter than I thought she was. Here we are out in Long Beach Harbor as I spend another night in Southern California. This time waiting on the fabricator to build the pieces I need to make the tow bar work on the Camaro that I'm getting. Off in the distance we see the Queen Mary. I'm over in here in Redondo Beach looking at a jetty out here, looking at some uh, people fishing or flying kites or something. Looks like we have a few out there surfing. Just killing time. My odyssey is stretched into another day down here as I wait on this fabricator that I hire to build the brackets for my tow bar. I'm supposed to call him at 10. No answer. I've been over to his place. Nobody there. Coming up on noon now. Still no answer. Hopefully he hasn't taken an early weekend off. He has a couple of my brackets for my tow bar with him, so. I could be real screwed. And this would be so typical. It's worth fishing. Alright, we've got this Camaro all hooked up. We're gonna give this tow bar a try. See if I can get this a thousand miles back home to Portland. If I can just get over that grapevine, I'll be happy. Tackle that grapevine. Oh yes! It appears as if the god of the roads may be with me. Looking up ahead. We're coming down out of the grapevine. All right, we've made it into Bakersfield. Came in, gassed up, checked everything. Everything's tight. Everything looks good. We've got some lights hooked to the batteries in the rear. We're going to get back on the... Whoa, I'm rolling up through the, the northern range now. I've been driving throughout the night. Just went through weed up in Northern California now. 
headed for Oregon. I'm up in the mountains and it's snowing all over the place. I'm telling you, this is so spooky. I'm afraid those big fat tires in that car are going to roll through a lake and hydroplane spin me out. Well, it's been a... <laughs> the tense trip continues. scared me. Great, on top of everything else we got the fogs rolled in now. Elevation 4000 and climbing. Whoa, this is fucked up. I just went for a slide. I'm spinning now. Well, I've just skidded to a stop here off to the side. I'm up at the summit. Got a bunch of trucks behind me all pulled over. I don't know what to do now. Well, one of those sanding trucks just came down my side and dropped a load of gravel on the road. I'm thinking about attempting it. Man, I don't want to have one of them big old trucks come barreling down behind me when I try to make that curve down there. Jeez Louise, check this out. This is absolutely insane. I've tucked in behind this semi up ahead. I think visibility is good enough now that the trucks behind can see us moving slowly as I uh, cruise down this descent in second gear. Well, we're in Oregon. Ah oh, yes, as the sun rises and the fog dissipates and the snow disappears, the cows come out. I get the hell off this godforsaken mountain. All right, home sweet home. This crazy wild road trip has come to an end, finally. So then from there began my journey to Hot Rods to Hell. And I found Steve McClendon, the proprietor of the shop Hot Rods to Hell. And I made a deal with him. He's the one and only guy that built the only other one and only 69 Camaro that has ever drifted. That car's not around right now, but there's another one coming. <laughs> oh yeah! And eventually, the soon-to-be Flying Dutchman made his way back to Southern California over to Steve McClendon's shop in Anderson, California, and the transformation was begun. All right, the old girl has arrived at Hot Rods to Hell. The old Dutchman is about to make one step a lot closer to flying. Young eyes are able to work in relative darkness. <laughs> yeah, we have a drop light right here if you want to plug it in. I have some gloves with lights in them. I'm going to put them on pretty soon. Are you serious? Yeah. The yeah they got little lights in them. <laughs> you want to lower it a little bit before we take it off? Okay, yeah. And out comes the narrow rear end and the ladder bars forever. Yeah, this is out of where you go. <laughs> So pretty fast, eh? Well, we're back up here in Portland now. We're working on the front. Getting rid of the stock stuff. We've got the hot rods to hell control arms on the car. Getting the rest of the stuff in there. We're pretty fast too. Special shocks. Special formula. <laughs> <laughs> 